This Moment of Mirth is brought to you by the one and only Simon Rich. He's the 2019 Thurber Prize for American Humor winner for Hits and Misses and a 2008 Thurber Prize finalist for his book Ant Farm and Other Desperate Situations. He's a humorist, screen and TV writer, former SNL writer, the youngest one in history, actually, and frequent New Yorker contributor. And if I do say so myself, and I know some of us here feel this way, one of the most Thurber-esque winners in prize history. Um, so, okay, let's do this. Uh, the Thurber 13, Simon, number one, what is your favorite word? Monster. Ooh. It just kind of livens any story up, if you could throw that in there. Oh, I like that. Uh, number two, what is your least favorite word? Gradually. <laughs> Gradually. Yeah, better to just come at things as rapidly as you can. Nice. Uh, name one thing on your bucket list. Besides winning the third prize. Um, I would say uh, hmm, bucket list. I've always wanted to go to Antarctica. Oh, good one. Yeah, maybe someday. Yeah, good one. Um, what book was your favorite as a kid? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. What sound do you love? The sound when you uh, um, when you first open a, a good jar of mustard, it has that little pop, and uh, you know it's you know that it's going to be fresh mustard and not kind of the kind of crummy mustard that that uh, uh, you inevitably end up with after weeks of sandwiches and dipping double dipping knives and forks into it. Okay, that, that's outside the box thinking. I like that. <laughs> okay, so what smell do you hate? What smell do I hate? Um, you know, I, I uh, grew up in, in uh, New York, so I feel like um, my nose is permanently uh, damaged by, by the, the, endless, uh, the endless smells from all directions. So I actually don't think I even really have a sense of smell anymore. <laughs> Who is your favorite humorist? Maybe Mark Lehner. If you were sent to a deserted island, what would be one thing you couldn't live without? Some kind of walkie-talkie or a radio that would allow me to access help. <laughs> okay. Uh, what folly of humanity do you find the funniest? Knowledge. The assumption of knowledge. Oh. I always think it's very funny when uh, a human being thinks they have any kind of awareness of, uh, of reality. Okay, so remember this next question. Thurber is listening. Cats or dogs? You know, I got to go with cats. I know Thurber is going to get me later, but agreed. <laughs> um, okay, so we know you're a Thurber fan. Anybody who knows you knows you're a Thurber fan. Do you have a favorite story, cartoon, uh, memory mm -hmm. of Thurber? My favorite pieces of his uh, are the ones that have talking animals in them. Mm -hmm. And I think that the way that he, the way that he writes about animals uh, has been very directly influential on, on some of the stories I've attempted over the years. Oh, and that was very evident in the story you read at the prize. That was fantastic. That was a straight, <laughs> a straight, a straight Thurber ripoff, if, if there ever was one. So Thurber, it was so good. Uh, okay, so what is your Walter Mittyist fantasy? Occasionally I, I have fantasies that I was just a little bit better at uh, middle school basketball. If comedy heaven exists, mm. who do you want to greet you at the door? Probably Kingsley Amos, because I feel like he'd be making the best drinks. <laughs> Fair, oh, yeah, a and good I, thought. I want one after you know, <laughs> after after very recently dying. Yeah, after whatever just happened to you. Yeah, yeah. Pro good point. Good point. Yeah, you don't really want a, a like a Oscar Wilde witticism. You want like a stiff drink. A stiff to you drink. By <laughs> Kingsley Amos. Good call. Good call. Okay, so Simon, thank you so much. Funny as always. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.